Good day, subscribers. Today is episode three of semester two, preparing for the program. If you'd like to see the previous episode before watching this one, click the banner in the upper right hand corner. In the last episode, we took a look at ProctorTrack, which is the computer software that the class I'm currently taking uses to monitor during tests. We went through the pros and the cons of the software, and we did a little bit of a demo through screenshots with the software. As always, I'd like to thank all of my subscribers out there. The channel just got over 175 subscribers, which is great, and I can't wait to see how it keeps growing. This video's comic is about what happens whenever you try to change any of your code. This video is a special video, and it's special because it's the first video that I've made that came from a request from somebody who commented in the comment section. As I always try to say at the end of the videos, if you have any video requests or comments, make sure you put them in the comments down below. So this video is about how to prepare for each one of the specializations within the program. As a reminder, I did have a video in Semester 1, Episode 4, called Specializations. In this video, we went through each of the four specializations that's offered for the OMS CS program, namely Computational Perception and Robotics, Computing Systems, Interactive Intelligence, and Machine Learning. If you'd like to see that video before watching this one, I left a link in the video description. So. As I said before, in this video, we're going to be talking about how to prepare for each of the specializations. So first of all, what is a specialization? A specialization is a focus area within the OMS CS program. So the OMS CS program is supposed to give you a master's in computer science, and then you're allowed to focus in a particular area. My focus area is machine learning, and so that's the one that I have the most experience with. With that said, I am still early in the program, and so I'll probably do another video very similar to this one at the end of the program to kind of review what I learned from the program and how to best prepare before you start the program. So for the OMS CS program, there's four specializations offered. Computational Perception and Robotics, Computing Systems, Interactive Intelligence, and Machine Learning, which is my chosen specialization. If you are an on-campus student, you actually have a lot more options for specializations within the computer science masters. That's what you can see in the image over on the right. Let's take a look at computational perceptions and robotics. It, you should be able to tell computational perception and robotics deals mostly with robotics and robotic systems. So in the masters, for the program, you have to have a set of core classes and then a set of specialization classes. And the number of specialization classes depends on which specialization it is. So for this one, you have one algorithm class, one machine learning slash AI class, and then you have your choice of three classes from a set of uh, perception classes or robotics classes. And so for this specialization, what you'd really want to have to prepare for it is one, a good understanding of math to prepare for the algorithms. Uh, second, a good understanding of programming. For AI and machine learning programming, from what I've found, you mostly use Python. So a good understanding of Python, maybe Java um, would be helpful. And that kind of seems to be what most classes use for the machine learning and the AI type courses. And then um, for the three courses in perception and robotics, you'd want to have a good idea of automation. This maybe isn't a skill that you learn about necessarily like hard coding or anything like that, um, but it is something that you'd want to have a good understanding of, something like how to optimize systems, um, how to work in systems. So if your background is something like engineering, if your background is computer science, obviously you're good. Um, but something where you have an idea of how a system works and how a system functions together. Let's take a look at computing systems. Computing system specialization seems to deal a lot more with OS and networks. Um, so this isn't something that I have a ton of experience with, and I haven't really taken too many classes associated with this specialization, 
but from what I was able to find, uh, again, you'll have to take one algorithm class, so you'd want to have a good understanding of math. Uh, second, you'd need two classes from either an OS or a networking focus class. So here you'd want to have a good understanding of uh, probably the C programming language, and that's either C, C++, C Sharp, any of those, um, and most likely Java. My guess, I, again, I haven't taken these classes, but my guess is that these classes focus more on that side of programming rather than working in Python, which to me seems to be used more in the AI and machine learning type courses. And then finally, you have to have three from a section of essentially miscellaneous courses. Um, I wasn't really able to find any trend between the courses in this section. You can check it out on the specializations page, which I will link in the video description. Um, but it seems like it's just some crisis courses that focus on Python, some focuses focus on Java, so it really depends on what you take. Now, let's take a look at interactive intelligence. So, from what I can see in the program, interactive intelligence seems to be what uh, Georgia Tech calls their version of artificial intelligence. I don't know exactly how they distinguish between the two, but it seems to be that interactive intelligence and artificial intelligence, at least from Georgia Tech's standpoint, are essentially synonymous. So in this program, you will, again, need to take some type of algorithm or design course. And for this, you'd want to have a strong understanding of math and probably a good understanding of programming. Um, I'm not sure on what language. I guess it would depend on which class you took, but a good understanding of how to build algorithms within a programming language. Uh, additionally, you'll need to take two courses from a machine learning slash AI type section. And as I said before, here you'd want to have a good understanding of most likely the Python programming language. Again, that's what it seems to be most of these classes use for AI and machine learning. And then you'll have to take two courses from an either interaction or cognition section. And so this would depend kind of on what classes you found most interesting, but you have to take two courses from either one of those sections. Let's take a look at machine learning, which is my chosen specialization. So machine learning is the specialization that I probably have the most experience out of the four um, because it is my chosen specialization. So machine learning seems to be based on a lot of the same things as um, interactive intelligence is. That's probably because the two are linked. Um, you'll need to do one algorithm course. Again, that's for that, you'd want to prepare by understanding some type of programming language and how to build algorithms in it, and then having a good basis in math. You'll need to take one course from a strictly machine learning set. Um, so when I looked at that, it's really you need, you need to have a good understanding of Python programming. And then third, you'll need to take three courses from a set of essentially miscellaneous courses. Again, I wasn't really able to tell a trend between those courses, but they're all kind of higher level most likely Python-based courses. So, before we wrap up this video, I do have two extra announcements. First, um, this was something that I commented in the video for specializations before, but when I was looking at the programs, I did make up an Excel spreadsheet that I used to kind of decide what I fit best into in terms of which program based on the classes. If you'd like to see that spreadsheet, I put it on my GitHub account which I have in the video description. So you can go click the link there, and that way you can see that and determine for yourself what you think you fit best into. Also, I set up a Twitter account for this channel. On that Twitter account, what I'll be doing is kind of pumping up upcoming videos and kind of giving quick views as to what I'm doing. So if I just take a test, I'll give a view on you know what I thought about the test, how I thought it was challenging. If I get into a class, I'll talk about that. Um, but it'll really just be more of a fun thing to talk about what's going on with the videos and what's going on with the program. So if you'd like to follow me there, it is at ComputerGuyCHR1. Hope to see you guys there. Thank you all for watching. As always, if you have any video requests or comments, let me know in the comment section below. All links from the video will be in the video description. So anything from the video you should be able to find there. Thanks and subscribe.